Two away wins in the last three outings had lifted Cardiff's mood, but the fans who'd stayed at home could still feel hard done by. They've witnessed just one league victory since November. Craig Noon trying to up the entertainment levels for the Bluebirds faithful. Stephen Henderson equal to that early shot, and despite an ankle injury, the Charlton keeper was agile again at the end of the half to prevent Conor McElhaney from giving City the lead. Henderson couldn't continue after the break. Marco Dimitrovic stepping into the breach and soon under the cosh as Noon picked out Kenwin Jones. From the cutback, Federico Makeda could hardly miss. Still no cause to get carried away given their opponent's newfound formidable form. Charlton had won four of their last five and were back on terms when the home team made hard work of clearing their lines and substitute Chris Eagle spotted Tony Watt lurking with intent. The freedom he'd been afforded must have infuriated Cardiff manager Russell Slade. Though getting too close carries its own hazards, as Sean Morrison found when he tried to stick with Simon Church. Referee Patrick Miller awarded Charlton the chance to complete their turnaround, just three minutes left on the watch. And Yoni Byance did the business for the re-energised addicts. In the second half, especially in the end, uh, we changed the rhythm and we, we play better, we play well, and we move the ball, we start to influence the game, and uh, we won. I think I should be standing there talking about a, a well-earned victory, to be honest. Um, and for 75% of the game, at least, I thought we were in control. Um, two very disappointing goals.